to another. We'll go to Keenan Allen, who's actually up 7.6 spots, currently ADP of 71.6. Anthony, I I know I just went to you, but you had a thought on this, and I know we're going to bring up another player next, but I'm going to give you the opportunity um, why you wanted to talk about this. So when it comes to Keenan Allen, like, like DJ Moore, he's the alpha, he's the guy. The rest of this receiver room is where it becomes interesting. We had the questions about Odunze. We have Keenan Allen here. So I'm going to wrote back in Odunze. If he becomes relevant, it, it is because Keenan Allen either breaks down as he is entering his age 32 season or he gets hit with the injury bug. Remember, early in Keenan Allen's career, he had a ton of injuries, and then he overcame them. Uh, you, you know, 2017, roughly to 2021, didn't really miss a lot of time. Then 2023, 2022, really after he turns 30 years old, uh, he plays in 23 combined games. That is what's going to trigger Roma Dunze is if Keenan Allen gets hit with the injury bug. We are seeing, you know, I get last year in fantasy, uh, third in points per game for Keenan Allen. Uh, almost 1,300 yards, 150 targets, 108 receptions. He is not getting that type of volume. Last year, Keenan Allen, there was no Mike Williams. Josh Palmer got banged up. He was really it. He was this entire offense until he went down. He's, I, I view Keenan Allen as more of a supporting role player in this offense they're committed, I believe, on a one-year deal to Keenan Allen. Sure, they're paying yeah, the rest of his contract. He's, he's a he's an unrestricted free agent going into the next year. Yeah, like like he's going to be a nice piece. What they're what I see teams doing, like Houston, like the Bears, they're trying to put pieces around. We're seeing this with Tennessee. Let's put everything around our our young quarterback so he doesn't fuck up. Like let's give this guy a lot to work with because most first round picks. Let's yeah. face it. Look at Trevor Lawrence in year one. He had nothing. I think what teams are trying to do now, hey, if we're going to go all in on a number one overall pick, we better have talent there. Otherwise, the the the, the failure rate goes up. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I, I'm out on Keenan Allen. I do not understand this ADP spike going up. Mm-hmm. I would rather draft Roma Dunze. I, I think, you know, where Dunze is going versus Allen, like, give me the younger guy. Because I, I am going to buy into the injury bug. And I, I hate doing that to players. I hate bringing it up. But it is evident that Keenan Allen, in terms of games played, has broken down since he's turned 30. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that Trevor Lawrence comment, by the way. Yeah, he, he had nothing, but he also had his head coach fondling oh. women at the bar in his first I know. And DJ times. Shark was such a, an alpha. That's right. He was. Yeah. Yeah, still is, still is. He's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, before you get on a roll, Steve, what are your thoughts on on Keenan Allen? It is kind of interesting that he's moving up because I'm yeah. I'm kind of I don't think he's uh, whatever. I don't think he's washed, but I don't I don't understand why he's moving up in ADP. Uh, what what says you, Steve, on Keenan Allen? Well, I right mean, now? if he's maybe it's just the Caleb Williams hype and this Bears offense hype, and everybody's getting really really excited, and True. they just think Caleb's going to smash in his rookie year. And you know, Keenan Allen for yeah, he's definitely been an injury concern the past few years, um, but he still is a craftsman. Still knows how to work corners, get open. Uh, still very, very solid, but, you know, like Anthony was saying, last year there was really nobody. He was just getting peppered with targets yep. year in and year out. Just absolutely ridiculous. Was basically fantasy gold. Um, so you're getting a value on him this year, but, I, yeah, I'm not really in on it. I just – like DJ Moore is the only guy I really want in this offense, yep. even though I got to pay a premium for him. Um, he's a little bit older. He's got more competition now. Uh, question still – you know, it's question mark still – uh, at quarterback for me, and then also playing now in a different climate, you know, not playing in the, mm. you know, the fruity tooty freaking LA climate anymore. <laughs> fruity tooty, <He's> play- <laughs> all right. Fruity tooty, fresh and fruity, uh, yeah. fruity yeah. tooty, fresh and fruity. That's so, right. yeah, I'm out. I mean, I always, I love Keenan Allen when he came out as a rookie at a Cal fourth round pick. Um, and then he struggled with injuries in his career, but I seemingly, it's just like I, I don't end, ever really end up with him on my teams. 
Yeah, Pete, you can uh, comment, but I got to get up and do something for Mr. Uh, William Stevenson, who's uh, commenting here. Oh. So, good. <laughs> right. uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm with you guys. I think if Keenan Allen's ADP drops a little bit, I might be okay taking him. It really Christ. it really just depends on uh, – on where he's going and, and what my team my team looks like. Um, but all right, we have a we have a couple of questions here. Some of them that we can just rattle off real quick before we get to the next player. 